Tony the Filter Doctor here. Welcome to our Frequently Asked Question series. The question that I'll be answering today is, what are VOCs? Now, for starters, VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compounds, and there are literally thousands of these in the environment. Some are naturally occurring, while many are man-made. Now, specifically, VOCs are carbon-containing compounds that typically have an extremely low boiling point. This allows them to evaporate very rapidly into the air. And it explains why you can smell gasoline when it's nearby. Because the VOCs in the gas are rapidly escaping into the air and giving you that unique odor. The same is true when you apply paint to your walls. The formaldehyde rapidly escapes from the paint along with a number of other VOCs and you can smell it. Now, basically speaking, there are two broad categories of VOCs. The first is chlorinated solvents, and the second is fuel components. Now, concerning chlorinated solvents, if I began to list everywhere in your home that you would find chlorinated solvents, this video would be three hours long, and I'm not exaggerating. They are everywhere in your home. So I'm not going to tell you where they are because it would be much easier for me to tell you the places that they're not found. That would be a much, much shorter list. Now, fuel components, that's easy because those are found in fuel oils and fuels. The most commonly known one is MTBE, or methyl tertiary butyl ether. It's an oxygenating compound that helps the gas burn better in your car. Now, for the purposes of this video, you're probably wondering how did these VOCs get in my drinking water? Well, there are any of dozens of ways that they got into the ground, but basically that's the starting point. Somehow, some way, those VOCs got into the ground and then leached down into the groundwater, and that groundwater ended up either at your municipal water treatment plant or at your well. Now, for those of you on municipal water, the EPA is currently, as of the recording of this video in August of 2012, the EPA is currently only regulating eight VOCs. Of the thousands that are in your water, potentially, they're only looking at eight of them. So your municipal water treatment plant, they're only regulating and making sure that eight specific VOCs are below a certain level. The rest of them, it's up to you. For those of you on well water, you have to be your own municipality. You need to find out what's in your water and treat it appropriately or you suffer the consequences. Nobody else is going to do it for you. 